So today I will show you a standalone VR first, playing Halo Combat Evolved running natively on the Quest, thanks to this amazing application called WinLater XR. This app allows you to run containerized Windows machines on your headset, and they have figured out how to leverage virtual reality mods and have them running on standalone devices. All thanks to recent advancements to the WinLater XR runtime. I'm curious what we could experience next on standalone hardware, if the hardware limitations allow it, of course. I'll also leave a video from the developer how all of this technical implementation works down below in the description. So for the full game of Halo, you will need to own it if you want to enjoy the full game in VR obviously, but there is a bundled demo in the trial where you can check out a multiplayer map and play the cryptographer mission, which you may recognize from the recent remake footage that Xbox showed off. I will link a guide to the install down below in the description, but be aware if you do not own the game, ignore the part about copying over the game files and patching it onto the headset. And instead of selecting mod retail, you'll select install trial instead. So what I'm about to show you is also the most resource intensive map of the game. So this is the worst performance you're going to experience and it still worked pretty darn well. It was really cool to play this because I just completed the first game on my Steam Deck, so it's still fresh in my mind. And being able to step in to the game that I was just experiencing is, it's almost like a dream come true. So let's dive in, Chief. Okay, so we go to the game library, we go to the side here into menus, and we go to unknown sources. There we'll have WinLater XR that emulates Windows. Click that. We have a container already here that I've set up. So this is my virtual machine. I went to the download folder that I'd unzipped and I'd ran the installer. And then you have this up here, Halo Trial, because I haven't got the full game. That is the shortcut to open and play Halo in VR. So in the top left corner here, if I hit this and go to shortcuts, Halo is already there, ready and waiting. And simply run it. I'll do some loading and then it'll boot up and take me to the Halo home screen. Just give it a minute. Just give it a sec. Oh, here we go. <gasps> there it is. There it is. Oh, that is crazy. You can see the Halo right in front of you. And so you have the menu in front of you. Use the left stick to move around. I initially, I went to settings, go to video setup and change the resolution, turn V-Sync off. I reduced all of this just to get the optimal performance. Texture quality on medium, just so I can get some stability. So I'll go to okay. Let's begin. Then you go to campaign. You want to load game. They've actually pre-saved the cartographer level and then select. Here we go. Look at the, look at the ships. <laughs> The Covenant believe that what they call the Silent Cartographer Hi guys. is somewhere under this island. Got those lovely the flaky textures from the, the OG, but it's 3D in VR. The island has multiple structures and installations. I can actually One move around and look at the, the battle room. rifle. We're approaching the LZ. It's gonna be hot. Get set to come out swinging. <laughs> this is crazy. So you may have seen that Halo is actually getting a remaster. Go, go, and go. this is the level that they showcase for the remaster. It looks beautiful. So of course you're getting crazy good graphics, but the left bumper means you, makes, makes you jump. Toggle the torch, it's Y, look, whoop, party. X swaps the weapon. Look, you can charge it and have it glow. Woo! That is crazy. To throw grenades, it's the grip button on the other controller. You just point and press and it goes ping. Where are they at, where are they at, where are they at? Grenade! Grenades are everything in Halo. Uh, the reload button is the A button. Sorry, I mean the B button. I always get those mixed up. Woo! This is time for the Warthog. Where's it coming? Where's it being dropped down? And look, you can see we're on the halo. Oh, this is such a dream come true. I literally just played this in the Master Chief collection and completed it on the Steam Deck. I'm currently on like mission 13 on Halo 2. 
Oh, what's this going to look like? What's the view on the turret? Let's try that first. Oh, look at it. I get, you get a little godlike view of Master Chief on the back. Like, brrr. Can someone drive? They're making me drive, honestly. Okay, I'm... let's move out. Let's go find the map. Oh, I love it. The location I love it. How many frames are we getting doing this? We're on 52. Oh, drop to 36, 50, 52, 57. Not bad. But you can, looks like you can play it in 3D here as well. Oh gosh. Back to the original view. That's something pretty special. Look, if I move the camera around where I'm looking, you get a specular highlight. You get super bright. That's really cool. Anyway, how do I hit? That's what I need to figure out. How do I whack them? Can I just literally whack them? Ugh, I made it. Come here. <laughs> it is. You just whack them. Look at that. When you do that, I activate a little animation. You're getting away from me. Oh, the, the Magnum in number one is just so OP. Right, we're gonna have to get closer. A carrier just dropped off a bunch of troops. There, in the cliff wall. I'll bet the silent cartographer Hello, is somewhere inside that <laughs> oh my god, there's so many! Nade it! Anyway, I'm not going to drive the warthog in here because it's not needed. The Covenant are putting up a real fight. The cartographer must be I remember here. Halo 1 wasn't. Um, that the map you couldn't dual wheel. So you kind of got this hand that's just Let's keep going doing nothing but giving positive reinforcement for everyone. Thumbs up. Great. Great move. Oh, there's, a, there's a mean ass baddie in this door. Don't let them lock the doors. Hey, I've got him! They shut the door, but I bloody got him before that. The doors. Okay, to the center we go. Oh, damn it, I damaged Check myself. I need I'll a health pack. Oh, I'm gonna have some re secure, reinforcements. Where's my buddies? Interior of the island. Oh. Hello, that was a bad idea. Get out of there, Steve. Nades everywhere. Ran out of ammo. I also figured out how to change weapon. Is you flick the D-pad. Look, there we go. Flick the analog stick, living D-pad. What am I talking about? All right, I need to replace. Let's get the needler going. Oh, he's huge. The needler is such a cool weapon. The way the the bullets are like mini projectiles and then go boom. <laughs> Everything seems so much more impactful in VR. That explosion playing Halo, you're like, pool, yeah, nice, got them. But in VR, you're like, whoa, the boom. Crikey. Oh no, we got the baddies here. They're not the good kind. What do we got? Ammo, weapon, health pack. Um, let's swap this out. And we'll save that health pack for when we need it. Oh, there's a Magnum. I'll take that. OP, right, this is all about getting those grenades on. Yes, go on, no, I thought I hit it. Oh, I'm absolutely wasting, wasting. <laughs> yes, one down. Oh, that like scraped past my face. That was far too close. We'll get one of these for a shield boost and then, bizarre. Yeah. 
brilliant. Reload. Gosh, I don't remember the rifle being so powerful. Unless I'm playing on easy mode and I didn't realise. So, you, you, I just, if for more immersion, I suppose, I'll pretend to hold the gun. I don't know how to enable the zoom in. Either, maybe you don't get that in VR. Oh, no grenades, and they're all grouped together as well, so perfectly. Get rid of the dang grunts as a pro tip, because... I know they're little and easy to kill, but they are, in numbers, when they've got needlers coming at you, they are such a pain. I need to use more manual damage, actually. What am I doing? Let's come take one out. Let's... Run from me. So, there's a couple of people around this corner. So that's it for me today, guys. Thank you so much for watching to the end of the video. I hope you also get to enjoy the amazing work that is achieved here. They are keeping an eye on exciting mods to see if there's something that they can get running on these standalone devices. But for now, go and enjoy some Halo. Uh, I just need to figure out where I can get the old CE files from to play this bad boy. Mm. Have a great week, guys. Happy gaming. Good day.